Okay, welcome to One Stop Co-op Shops. This is Steve. I'm here with my lovely wife, Kim. Hello, everybody. And we are here to play Small World. And you might be thinking, well, what's going on? Competitive game on the cooperative channel? Not exactly. They released new rules for the uh, game so you can play solo with an AI. And so what we did is we took those rules and we plotted them for cooperative play. So let's look at the table and talk about how that works. Okay, so here we are at the table for Small World. We've got a board set up. Uh, we have all our powers over here we can recruit. And we're going to be working together. So how this is going to work is Kim and I are each going to have our own point pool down here in the corner. And right now they're face up, but as we play the game, we'll flip them face down like normal. But basically, uh, at the end of the game, we're going to combine our points. And then the bad guy is going to take care of is going to gain points themselves as well. The lost tribes, and uh, our goal is to have more points than them. Pretty simple. And how it's going to work is one of us is going to go first. Lost tribes can go. The other players can go, and then the lost tribes can go go again, and then it'll be another round. So basically, we're going to go once each, and the lost tribes can go twice each round. And so that should equate to a balanced game in that sense. At least that's the theory. That's the theory. Well, we've, I've, I've been playing it, so it should, should work fine. So, but yeah. Uh, other than that, we are. So I was trying to do the team plays, which is officially in the six player map, but the team play doesn't really work very well full cooperative because how it works in team play is the lowest score of the team is the score for that whole team. That doesn't really work well when you have an even number and like who's getting up the bad guy. So I think adding a score here will work best okay if you've not played small world before it is a area control game so very simply put where you want to try to take over as much area you want and hence the name the world is honestly too small for everyone <laughs> so beat it steve <laughs> we're, we're gonna be fighting over territories and attacking stuff but the fun thing about the game is as you play the game there are different combinations of powers and races and that's going to create these interesting combos to trigger effects and so we'll be using those combos to to take over stuff and at some point you can choose to start over a new race but yeah that is basically how the game works i think we are going to pick our races and kind of start to play can we go right forget what you saw That's starting over again nothing happened nothing happened exactly it's terrible it was terrible okay Okay, so we have the Historian Dwarves, the Ransacking Amazons, the Catapult Goblins, for the Flying Sorcerers, the Copycat Elves. I uh, would love the Flying Sorcerers, but they're too expensive. You can buy five them right away. You can no, do it. I, I never, I historically don't pay money to get <laughs> stuff. I just deal with it, and then they go on decline like a turn later. <laughs> um, putting some money away. I would take the historian, the dwarves. Cause really? Just... Okay. Well, because it's plus one for every cave, and then every mine, a cave. So you gotta look at the mine tokens. Excuse me. Because look, this is a cave without mine. <laughs> yes, excuse me. You gotta play it right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. And then this is plus one for each in decline, or yes. So like, when like the priestesses? Yeah, not exactly. It's. When any race goes in decline, you will get a point. And that includes when you go in decline yourself, you get a point. But it's only in the decline moment. That's one point if an entire race goes in decline. Correct. Hmm. Okay, I don't like them as much. Yeah, it's, it's okay. I mean, now is a decent time to take it because things are, people are going to decline a little more frequent, potentially. But, um, I don't know. Actually, ransacking Amazons sounds like your type of thing, honestly. <laughs> so, um, let's see what ransacking does real quick. Uh, where is ransacking on this page? It is not. Oh, where's the Amazons? Amazons. Here's the Amazons. So, during your conquest, you may use four additional Amazons. So, you have four additional tokens, but during only attacking. for attacking. Correct. And then ransacking is each time you successfully conquer a region containing an opponent's active race token, they immediately immediately pay you one victory coin from their own personal stash. Okay, yeah, I do want that one. Uh huh. Yep. I would pay for that one. <laughs> yep. But if I go first, I can choose the dwarves, and you can get that for free. Okay. Because the okay. dwarves, they're not good, but 
I can get them out quickly and then just choose go right into decline. And, yeah. So, yeah. So, okay. Well, I will. Do you want me to start then? Yes. Okay. I'll take the dwarves. Historian dwarves. Let's do it. Are are the bad guys going to potentially destroy one of these right now though? Nope. Okay. Only when you not to start of the game. Only when you go into climb. Okay. So reveal a new race. And I need the doors. I need all the doors for this one. I need the mines. So there's a mine here. Oh, right here. This is a really good spot for me to go. So if I can get those and maybe get over here would be ideal. Okay, here we go. Two mi two doors here. Two here and then three here. I've got one left over. Let's try to go here, in that spot. So let me roll the die. I need a two or higher. That is not a two or higher. Why are you laughing? Back to your old tricks. Back to my old tricks, yeah, exactly. Uh, let's put this guy here. I want to defend my mine areas. Let's get more points for those. All right, so I get one, two, three, four, five points. Okay, bad guy goes. He has, looks like, four tokens available to him. So he is going to just explore as much as possible. And there's no, oh, he wants to take over this mine, because he knows I like this mine. So we'll do that, and then it doesn't matter where else we go. So we'll go here, I guess. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve points for them. Yep, twelve points. Okay. Okay. Gonna go with ransacking Amazons. Okay, you get all but one of those tokens from the box. Okay, that's a pretty awesome one. It's pretty cool once you come across these fun combos that work really well together. Makes it a pretty fun game in that state. So that was five, seven, and these are the four attacky ones. Yep. Okay. So, I really just want to wipe them out. Yeah, you could. I mean, every time you take them out, you'll get an extra point. So if I, if you, you want your mine, so there's one over here, but it's, better, you for, it's clear, better for you to go that way. Yeah, I'm going to try to go for this mine here. So I'm going to... There's no more mines on no, here. No, there's there. not. So okay. I think if I go here, then you have you maintain the choke point on these two spots, and I'll do like these two spots, and then we'll own this side of the board. Okay, you could try that. Okay. So I'm gonna go to. Nope. Oh yes, just kidding. That's an edge. I it didn't look like an edge. Lies. Dead. I uh, get one point. Oh yeah. Oh, and he gives it to me. Yep. Dead. Another point. Then I'm going to go What are you thinking? Can you think out loud? You... Well, do I do I keep attacking him or do I put myself on some mountains? I think I'm tempted to put myself on some mountains. But you get more points. Attack him! Kill! Defeat! <laughs> Murder! <laughs> <laughs> um... I'm going to be a little reserved because I'm going to lose what? I'm going to lose four of these. Okay. Okay. Um Yeah, so how it works is normally you all your guys are on the board, but for Amazons, four have to come off because they're only for attack. I need to roll. Okay. Yes. Wow. That was a really good roll. That's how it's done, Steve. So I, I'm going to just lose four. Yep, four come off the board, and then you can redeploy. Then I redeploy with these. Yep. There's another guy here. There is, oh, I didn't see him. Yeah, they're all over the board to start. Oh. Okay, well, let me just go that way then. Okay. And you're going to get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six points. Bad guy has four tokens. Here we go. Let's see, it's going to be, they won't go for easy points to start. So it looks like they're going to go here for two, and here for another two. So 
So they're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep, 12 points. Okay. That is the end of the first round. On to the second round. Oh, I forgot to move this down. Yep. Okay, pick up my extra ones. Let's see. I want to make it to that mountain. You need to kill him. Um, why? Because he has backdoor access to come wipe you out then. I guess so. But I, I can't make it there. You didn't kill him when you started. Fine. There, <laughs> take him out. And I will try to take out this one. I believe. You believe. Here we go. Roll, roll by. A single pip. There Boom. you go. Boom. Conquered. Okay. So now you're right. Because now I can leave one guy there. I know. I said you were right. Yes. Everybody heard it. <laughs> Everyone heard it. Uh, let's defend those spots. This one I might lose, but it's probably okay. Okay. So now they pick them all up and redeploy and attack. I do it? Maybe I, maybe I want to defend this guy instead. That was a little bit of a wall. They have to go to that mountain anyway. Okay, yes. Pick up the rest of them. Wait, let me get my points first. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven. seven. Seven points. Flip this over. Okay. And then I... They pick up, they pick up theirs and there. on their turn. So they get two, looks like. And those. Oh, yeah. Four. Yeah, four. They don't go for the... They just jump on the mountains. They are going to jump on the mountains. They want to stop points, so they're going to jump on here, this mountain. Because mm -hmm. they know they want me to go there. It doesn't matter what you want. And they've got one token left over, so it looks like they probably just go here. Anywhere, yeah. Anywhere. Just here, I guess. I don't know. All right, here we go. Roll the die for them. Got get it. it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm-hmm. Eleven points. Okay. That is their turn. You're up. Okay. So I don't have this guy. I'm going to... I'll get that guy. Okay. I'm going to get my four. I like the strategy. So Can I push him to three. one side? So give me one of his points. Okay. And then I have five left. You didn't pick up. Oh, you just took that up. Yeah. Yes, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to. Um, I'm actually going to try to take the mountain spot. Okay. Okay. That's four. So I guess try so much as just do it. Just do it. <laughs> I have take one. It over. I have one left. I am going to roll for that. Okay. Yeah. Boom. Get one. Got it. One plus one. You got it. All right, so Good now enough. four come off. Yep. Yeah. So I have one to redeploy. I don't, I'm not a fan. I'm getting a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. I will just put there. Because if I lose those two, at least I have a bigger, bigger wall. Yeah, I guess. Okay, you're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. Mm -hmm. Okay, bad guy has two plus another two here he can pick up. He's got four tokens to use. He's going to kill me. <laughs> he is going to kill you. Yeah, because yep. otherwise he'd go on a mountain. Yep, he'd rather take, take away your points. So he's got mm -hmm. three of them. Doesn't matter where he takes over. He'll, he'll just take over this spot, I guess. Mm -hmm. There's one that goes back in the box. One token left over. He would try it again here, and he needs a two. Two or higher. Does not get it. Okay. They're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points again. Man. Just very consistent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next round. I just gave them to you. <laughs> I'll take those points. No. <laughs> okay. Um... Come on, dwarves! You can do it! I have three tokens. I just want to try to take this over. I gotta do it, right? Yeah. yeah. Gotta do it. Three. There's two tokens there, so I need... 
need a four. I need one. One or higher. It's a 50 50 chance for me to take it over. All right. Got it. Whoop, whoop. Took him out. And then. Okay. And let me redeploy. There's a little guy there. Here? Yeah. Why? Because he's going to come and attack you once this guy's dead. Well, they're going to attack me this time anyway. But I just wanted to, to protect the mines, because that's really all I care about for these little doors. They're not going to reach this one, is my point. We don't need a guy, an extra guy there. Oh, slow them down, you're saying? That's what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. So, okay, so I'll do that for re redeployment. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll get there's a one. I got it over here. Bad guy goes. Bad guy has two plus two more. You have four again, not before. Mm -hmm. So they take this out. No, they take me out. Wow. So, so how I play it is after you go, they if they is a choice between attacking me or you, they will attack the person that just went. Or they would attack you to get rid of this. No, because it's more. Focused. Oh, I can't count. Yeah. So they would attack the... Nope, they won't attack that spot. That's what I'm saying. That's why I said double up here, because this is now their easy go-to right. spot. You're right. You're correct. So, yeah. Just helping you, Steve. <laughs> there. He's out. Thank you for taking the blow over me. He's got one left over. This spot... It would go for the mountains, I think, right? Yeah. Yep. And probably here. It doesn't really matter a whole lot. Okay. Try for that spot. It needs uh, two, two or higher. He gets a one, does not get it. Okay, they're gonna get one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven again. I got it. Okay, your turn, Cam. I'm tempted to go into decline. If you do, I get a point. And then get the flying sorcerers. Yes, fire boys. Destroy everything. Which. What is this again? They can convert others, which is pretty cool. So their ability is up here. It says once per turn, per opponent, which technically is only one, uh, substitute an opponent's single active token with a new sorcerer token from the tray. So you get them out of the box, they come back alive. You convert them over. Yeah. Now, one note is with the Lost Tribes, they can never lose tokens technically. So their token won't go out of the game, but they'll get it back. So okay. you'll still gain your sorcerer, but they, they will never go down from 14. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to go into decline. Because I'm going to max 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I would only get 8 and then one of theirs. Do I? What do I you would. Think? Okay. I get a point. Good for, good for you, <laughs> Steven. That's why I said it. Yeah. Give me the extra point by going oh, decline. Oh, <laughs> All right, so that leaves me with seven. Seven points. Yep. Okay, bad guy goes. He's going to pick up three. Yeah, he's got three to use. And so he would target this spot. Yep. Just take you out. Okay, bad guy has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points. Got it. I got this point. Okay. Next round. What are you going to do? I'm tempted to go and decline because all I have is two tokens left. Okay. I think I will. Okay, historian. Let me make sure. I'm pretty sure I'm playing that right. Um. It says, here, Historian, collect one bonus victory coin for each race in decline at the time you select this Historian's. Oh, uh, while active, collect one bonus victory coin each time a race goes in decline. I get one more when I go to decline. So I will get a point now for going to decline. And I flip all my guys over. Here's the extra. Now the nice thing about the dwarves is if you look in the back of the card, they've got this uh, symbol you can see on the front too. Let me show you real quick. The symbol means 
they have an effect that matters for the in, when in their in decline state, which means I get the bonus points for mines even when they're in decline. That's good. That's pretty nice. So uh, the power doesn't matter. That goes away. Some powers matter. This one doesn't. So I'm gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got it. Okay. Now the bad guy is gonna go. The bad guy has no tokens off the side of the board. But he picked these up. In oh, the he does have some. Yeah, there you go. He's got two. He would try to attack me. So he go here. That's what he try to do. So he needs a a pip. Okay. There you go. Got it. He totally gets it. Pick up his dwarves. Okay. Bad guy has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen points man, of time. Man. Okay. Makes a difference when you play right. It does. I'm like, this seems pretty easy. What's yeah. going on? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Take okay. Game. So before you go. Do not roll a one. You He rolls a one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, Steven. Bye, sorcerers. Oh, God, you stink. <laughs> that would have been a fun one. Sorry. Man. All the times you rolled something. <laughs> okay, what other race do you want? I wasn't even thinking. Um, what does copycat do? I forget what that does. <laughs> uh, copycat. I dropped a card on the ground. Not that one. Goblins. I. It's minus one to attack, right? Goblins is, yes, mines want to take over. I think it might be an in-decline race as well. Yes. We conquer any in-decline region at cost of one less goblin. Which... It's not helpful on this. Correct. Not helpful map. for co-op. But catapult is good. That's still good. Now, copycat. That one says, uh, at the beginning of each of your turns, you may place the copycat marker on one of the six powers from the combo list next to the board. Your active race benefits from this power's effect until the beginning of your next turn, or until an opponent chooses it as his combo. While when the power effect stops, you lose all the special tokens. Blah blah blah. Okay, so basically what it means is, you can copy one of the yep. board abilities off the side of the board, which is pretty nice. And elves never go away. Yeah. So I'm going to take the copycat elves. Okay. Where's that copycat token? Uh, it is over yonder. Here is the copycat token. Yeah, this game has just tokens everywhere. Okay. <laughs> so many tokens. Where are my L's? Here they are. And you get all but two of them. And then elves run away after attacking? What no, the... this means they never die. So remember how whenever... If you have stuff in the region and it gets taken over... Oh, yeah. One all goes right. in the box, the rest come to you. You will never have one go to the box. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to... They're invincible. Or they have... Uh... Not invincible, but they um they never die, basically. I'm going to copycat fortified. Okay. And take those I get one per mm, I would lose the token at the end of my turn though, right? No, you keep it until until someone chooses that a power. It's no longer available or you choose a different one. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna come in this way. Yep. Destroy him. Destroy him. And destroy him. Okay. How many of these fortresses do I get? I believe you only get one a turn. Let's double check that real quick. Um, fortify. Here it is. Uh, where is it? Right here. Fortified. Once per turn, place okay. a fortress in region. Yep. I will fortify that. And that will give you a bonus defense and a bonus coin. Yes. So you're going to get, after that turn, one, two, three, four for the fort, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten points. Good job. Back in business. Okay. Bad guys go. Bad guys has three tokens. They will. They will try. What are they going to go for? Probably you. <laughs> yes. 
because they want to stop as many points as they can. So they're right here, they take out this dwarf. Yep, that goes back in the box. Okay, so now they're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 points. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Now it is next round. Mm -hmm. It's my turn to pick a race. So I rolled the die. Here we go. 3 plus 1 is 4, so the fourth one goes away. Fourth behemoths, we no longer have them. Okay. Who are you going to take? Curse halflings. Oh, gosh. <laughs> nope, not them. Swamp pygmies. That seems pretty good. I'm not gonna take the one you took. So you can use that power. Well, that's what I'm. I mean, I could, I could copy the swamp, but you could. But that's actually a pretty good power to build up. So yes. I'd rather, I'd rather have <laughs> not do that. Catapulting. So the catapult, I believe, is. Um, what does that one do again? That's right here, I believe. No. I don't know where the catapult is. Or, or power. Must be one of these ones. That one, you you can take over a region, I think, or you skip over a spot. One of the two. I think you skip over a spot. Yeah. I don't remember which where that one is offhand. I thought it was a base power. Oh, here it is. I found it. Okay. Here's the catapult. Once per turn, you may place a catapult in a region you occupy to conquer any region that is one region away, but not adjacent, at one less token than usual. The catapult may be used to attack a region beyond the lake, but not over the seas. And then it's immune from any conquest. Or wherever you put it. So yeah, you launch something, you don't attack something next to it, but you launch something one space away. Extra space away. At one less token. So you like launch one of your tokens across at them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's pretty silly. Um, I don't know if that's particularly useful with the goblins. I might skip them over. So let's go for the pygmies. So I will spend two points to get the swamp pygmies. I have an alternate proposal. Okay. If you do take the goblins, okay. you come in. I would be okay if you took these two out. And you come back to try to block this off, and then we keep our decline stuff. Although that would only leave three for me. No, you do it. Yeah, because I, if I come in here, I take this spot. I can protect him and cut this off. Yeah, if you can, if you can get these two and. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay. So I'll put my coins down there. Paid for it. I need ten, ten pygmies. Um, and here they are. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Okay. So my pygmies. Get your money out of the way. Oh, all the money. All the money. Okay. So, yeah, and I definitely take over the swamps. Every swamp I control, I get an extra point. So, let's start the fun here. Three. This spot has a lot of guys in it, though. Yeah, three of them there. Wow. It's, it's worth it, though, to protect my guy. Five to take it over. And I've got two left over. You have to try to take that. This one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. It's two a here. Tough roll, but... It is a tough roll. So two, two. I need a two or higher. It's a one third chance. There you go. Negative. I did not get it. So they come back and I'll just go hog wild there there and there. Okay, and then I'm gonna get One, two, three for them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points. Okay. Bad guys. They have the three I just took out. Oh, and some here. They have four tokens. They are going to attack this spot, aren't they? Yep, unless they go after your double point. No, because it requires more tokens to do it. So three here. Take that one out. They've got one left over. They're gonna take out another one of these two. I don't think it matters. We'll just do this one. Needs a two or higher to do it. Now you get it. <laughs> now I <yep. laughs> Alright, uh, so they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve points. Geez. I got it. Yeah. I this I think we're in trouble. Yeah, I think so too. I should have made it harder. 
I should make it harder. No. No, I shouldn't? No, because I, we are behind points. <laughs> I really do think so. Yeah, we are. <laughs> okay, my turn. Your turn. I'm copying the same power. I'm not even going to move it. Okay. He's just going to keep wiping out my Amazons. Yep, he's coming, coming for them. So... Bye. Okay. Bye. Put this here. So that's a uh, extra coin. Yeah, I'll stay like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points. I count. Okay. Pretty good. Bad guy turn. He only has two. Nope. Two plus some more. Two plus these. Four tokens. Yeah, he's gonna keep going after you, you guys. Mhm. Mm so three here, I guess. Yep. And then he's got one left over. He would have tried to take the there. spot over. So he needs a two or three to take it over. He does get it. Stop it, Steven. <laughs> I know. It's supposed to be co-op. Don't roll for that. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points. Good grief. Okay. That's it for that round. We've got four rounds left. Okay, I'm up. Pick up all the extra pygmies here. See if I can help a little bit here. We'll take out that spot. I don't want that swamp for sure. Um, you should go for that swamp up there. I think I, I think I should. Yeah, three here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's four. Three guys here. Take out this spot. I've got two guys left over. I will try to take this swamp here. So I need a, I need four. There's one guy there. I have two. I need one no, I need three. So I need, I need one, one more. more. Yep, I need any pips. Any number of pips. No. Which I do not get. You're very good at rolling for the bad guys. <laughs> I am. Very good. Um, I do want to get some guys there for sure. One, two, three. That seems okay. Okay, here we go. For my active race. One, two, three, four, five, six points. Decline races. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen points. Good job. Okay, bad guy goes. He's got two plus two more, four. He'd go after, oh, he's not that. He'd go here. No. Oh, wait, he would. Mm -hmm. Or here, because it's. Or here. Or here, because it's open. It's that, only, it's only that's true. Three. That's true. He would be here first, and then he's got one token left, which he would then go for here or here, because that's the most points. Mm hmm. So he has to roll a three. Yeah, we'll just go here. Um, because it's four. Yeah, he needs a three. There you go. I thought you had it for a second. I thought so too. I saw the, the three flash. Okay, so now it has one, two, three, four, five. One, two, oh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points. Right? I got that right. I think so. Yes. Okay. I don't know. I'm not sure how well we're doing. Uh, again, not not too comfortable. Um. Are you? What are you trying to do here? Are you trying to like cut off an area? I was gonna cut him off here, but he got behind us. Yeah, he did. Now it doesn't matter too much which direction I go. Well, the nice thing is he's now probably going for my mountain spots with my dwarves. Yeah. So, four mines. Three. I got one left. I'm pretty sure that's what he's going to do. So, at least he's not going to take you out as much anymore. With one left, I will try to take this guy out. Nope. Nothing. Okay, so I'm going to take... that and i will redeploy where would this little guy go doesn't matter too much i don't think it matters a whole lot unless you want to make sure they don't take down your forts yeah go on that side just in case 
Okay. okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. Okay. Bad guy goes. Looks like he's got four tokens to work with. With that. There, yes, right there. correct. And he's definitely going to take it over. Mm -hmm. So let's just do... What does it matter? He's going to take over... No, he would... He probably would take over this spot, and then it's easier to take over that spot next. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. So that guy's gone, and then he's going to roll for this dwarf. He needs a two or three. Does not get it. You can bias it in your rolls. Really? And we roll that? <laughs> no, no, you're fine. You roll it. No. You roll. No. Okay. If I was biased my rolls, I would not have to <laughs> take that spot, right? All right, so he's going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points. Is that ten for me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that is the bad guy. You are up, Cam. No, wait. No. That was end of your turn. We're in the new round, aren't we? Yeah, new round. Your turn. My turn. Okay, I'm going to stay as the pygmies. I'm not going to change. Because these guys have more to do. Let's take over that swamp I wanted for three. Got three pygmies left. That's a nice swamp to go for. Yeah, so I'll take out this. Uh, you might. What? If we can get rid of him behind our lines, we can try to pinch him again. So maybe take out this guy then? To start the pinching? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like... No, if I go here, I can protect... No, I can't protect that guy. That exactly. guy's still there. I mean, they're on both sides of us. Yeah, you're right. So I... Or do we just... Well, you don't want to lose all your swamps here. I think I just go here. Take this guy out. And then I just need to re redeploy. I yeah, I might lose some swamps. Um, though these pygmies can come back to life. I'm not, not as worried about that. Let's put this over here, I guess. Okay. So now we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen points. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Do you have it or do you need coins? I need some coins. He's a 10. Okay. Okay, so that is it for me. The bad guy is going to go. And he has three tokens off to the side of the board. It looks like he's got a stack here. So he has a total of five tokens to go. And he wants to stop us from getting points. Yeah, I think that's it. I think you're right. I agree. Three here. Take him out. Two over here. He needs a, anything. Anything to he, take out I, that spot. He would have taken this first. He, he wasn't next to it. He had to take this one first. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, you're right otherwise. He does take it. Okay. So much for my high score there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points. Very consistent. Okay. Your turn, Kim. Let's see. You guys have any questions or any strategies to do here? I I don't know. I can't tell if we're like if we're scoring as much as him or not. Or if we're behind. I don't <laughs> know if it makes sense to like I don't know. take out a bunch of him at a time because he just kinda comes back full force. It's a tough call. It's yeah, a tough call. He keeps coming back. Um I'm copying the same power. I'm tempted. Do I risk taking this mountain? I think you should. Otherwise, you can probably lose that person. I only have three. I'd have to roll for it. Or I could just get three and take a spot. Um, actually, they won't think, take that spot because you have a bunch of singles over here. Yeah, I think, so, yeah, I have, I think you're right. I'm going to do... I could take this one, but then... He's going to still be... Yeah, he's still there. I think maybe you just get rid of these. Okay. And get another fortress that I will put 
I don't know, somewhere <laughs> over here. Okay. Yeah. Let me put it here. Let me redeploy. Okay, let's see. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I mean, you're scoring well right now. Yeah, but it's not like. I don't know if it's, it's well it's enough. It's not sustainable, I don't think. <laughs> yeah. All right. Back it goes. It's got one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. like four tokens to get. And he will go the cheapest spot. Crap, he's in the open there. He is? Oh, yeah. No, no he's not. Right here. Get rid of your points. No, because there's a mountain over here. You do that first. Oh. Because that's a cheaper token resource. So three. And now he will go for that spot. That spot has been open this whole time. We haven't done that, though. Yeah, because there's uh, tokens over here. It takes away points. Oh, okay. If it's So how it works, if it's tied on number of tokens, that they do, he would takes away points from us or try to hurt as much as possible. So right now, his only choice is to go for a two-token to spot, which would be this one because it gives me points. Mm -hmm. So he needs a... That's actually a four. He needs, he needs a three. three. Okay, here we go. He gets close. He gets real close. Okay. So he's going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points. Very, very consistent. Okay. That's the end of your turn. Next mm -hmm. round, right? Yep. Okay. Okay, here we go. Pick up those guys. And these guys. I've got four tokens to go. I gotta go for that swamp, I think, right? Makes sense. Yeah. Because I can't cut him off. There's no way. He's no, no. We're pinched in the middle. Yeah, so three. Take out that guy. One left over. Hail Mary. You need two or three to do it. One third chance. That is Big not how you do nothing. it. <laughs> That's not how you do it. Okay, one here. Here and here. Oh no! Actually, I want to. I want to keep the guy here. You're kind of either way. Either way, you split it. You're in trouble. I know I'm in trouble no matter what. Yeah, because I want to keep someone here so I can go to either of those spots. I think I'll just do this instead. Okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Good job. 12 points. Here's a 10. Okay. Okay, bad guy has two plus two. He's got four tokens to use. He'd take this. Yeah. Correct. He would take that. So three takes that out. Every time you take out a pygmy, I roll a die. And I get that many pygmies back. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> one left over. You probably take that one. Yep. Yeah, you take that one. Okay, needs a two. Yep. Does yep. not get it. Okay, he's gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a ten over there? Yes. Okay. Okay. It's really kicking our butts. Yes. All right. Pick up, pick up. So I only have two. I mean, this is the last round to go and decline if you want to do it. Because next round. Yeah. I don't. I don't think so. You would lose one point. You would keep your forts actually. I would lose two points. Two points. You would lose two points. That's true. I would keep my forts. You say? Yeah. Because forts actually have a special ability where. If you look on the other side yeah you didn't take the card did you oh you didn't yeah but i don't get the coin from oh wait no you lose your copycat which means you lose your fort yes so you so would I'm not tempted to, i'm gonna play it out i think i think you should play it out to keep your forts so i have two guys do i go for this one or try to get on top of this mountain uh, mountain? I think I'm going to risk it. 
Go for the mountain? Go on for the mountain. I, I, have, to, I have to roll a two. Okay. No! As a blank. Should not have done that. Yeah, why'd okay. you do that? Ah, uh, because I... <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, you. Um... Is that you less fort? No. Okay. Nice thing about the fort is, like, the longer you stay in the game, the more you get, generally, as long as you don't get defeated. Yeah. So you're, you are ramping up at points. Okay, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's a good, good score. Bad guy has 1 plus these two. He's got 3 tokens. What is he going to do with those 3 tokens? He is going to kill this pygmy. I agree. He's going to kill the pygmy. Hey, when pygmies die, you see more come back. Oh, look at that! Oh, Boom! So you get... Oh, you that's three good. I just redeploy them to the board right now. It doesn't matter where I go, because I'm going to go next anyway. Okay. So now we're on the last round of the game. How many points does the bad guy get? Oh, just kidding. I'm already skipping his turn. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points. You got 10 over there? Yep. Okay. Okay, here I go. I need to get the swamps as much as I can. Oh, perfect. I get a 3 here, take him out. And I can do a 3 here, take him out. That worked out pretty well in my favor. Okay. Um, let me get my points and I'll redeploy after that because. My redeployment doesn't matter for me because I'm I'm done gaining points, but it might matter for you. So I can see if I can do something to kind of help you. I'm not sure if I can. So one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Mm -hmm. Thirteen points. You got ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Do I redeploy? Is it a matter how I redeploy to help you? I don't think it matters. It does. I mean, it does? you want to make it harder for him. So I would just go double up everywhere that he, you know, he can come in that way. Yeah, but I can kind of, no, you got to get back there. Yeah, okay, that's it. Okay, bad guy goes. He's got two he plus would, these two. What? He would go there. Yeah. Actually, what I should do, I should have him come after my spots. He already is. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, I don't have that. to worry about it? Okay. Okay. So he's got four tokens. He is going to go here. Take out that pygmy. Um, roll the dice. See if I get him back. I do not get him back. One left over. You go for that one. Go for this one. And he needs a... Two. Two. Nope. He does not get it. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points. Okay. Last two turns. Here we go. Um, I'm going to just try to take him out. I need to roll one. Let me try that again. Yeah. Do you roll the dice off the table? No. No, negative. Negative ghost rider. Okay. okay, so I'm taking another fort. It's the last one. That's good. To put there. So you're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 points. High score for a turn. Only good once, job. though. Good job. <laughs> Only once. Okay, bad guy goes. He's got one off the board. He can take your pygmy again. Yes, he would. You take the pygmy. I'm not going to roll for reinforcement because it doesn't matter. So he's going to get it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points at the end. Okay, that is the end of the game. For that, that's uh, pretty fast playing. But now we need to do the point stuff. So let's uh, move the board out of the way. I'm going to consolidate. You consolidate a bit? My points. Well, our points can combine. 
You know Captain what? Planet. <laughs> what? Our oh, powers combined. Earth, fire, wind, water. Wait, take another form one. of. It's it's water. heart. Heart's one, right? Heart, heart is one. Yes, yes. heart is one. Yep. Here's a, here's my points. You can add them to your pile. I will, I will take care of the the good guys. Us. Okay. And uh, you consolidate the bad guys. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we did. I I apologize again, guys, for the earlier. I don't know. I had a mess up brain fart on the rules. But I'm glad I caught it before finishing the, the, the live stream so we can actually show you how it's supposed to work because, as you can tell, it makes a big difference. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly a big difference. Like, oh, this is not so bad. Um, yeah. Yeah. I just... Dumb, dumb, dumb. It happens. Yep. One, two, three... There's a lot of points here. I am really worried. I don't think we won. I'm not that confident. I mean, I stole some of their points in the beginning. You did. That was good. Okay. Let's stack these in stacks of 50, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be kind of crazy. Here we go. Let's put these on the, the board so you can see them. Um, okay. We're doing stacks of 50. That's what I'm doing here at least. Well, to start. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten stacks of ones there. 201, Steve. 201? Yes. So this is 150. Here's ten. Um another 10 and then let's do another 10 here another 10 here three four five three four five there's another 10 here and three left over okay so they have one two three four five there's another 50 stack of 50 here so what do you what do you get for a final score? We had two hundred and one. Two hundred and three. No, are you two serious? Two points. Two points. Oh man! All right, that was a lot closer than I thought it was. Yeah, uh, that worked out well. So now the options are, uh, there's actually like a mini pep campaign they're trying to do. I don't, I don't know if it really makes a whole lot of sense, but they do recommend that like, hey, if you lost, take away one of the tokens and play it again. So you can like. As it, it'll make a big difference as you scale up and down with that token to find the right uh, difficulty for your for your team or for your play style. But curious, what do you think of co-op for this? Do you think it worked? I like first it. First of all, do you, well, do you think it worked? First of all, I think it worked because it. I'm surprised at how close it actually came out to be. Yeah. Because um, this is Kim's first time playing Small World Cooperative. I played. I I play tested a bunch on the side, try to make sure this would work. Um, but it's your first experience of it. Yeah, I I liked it particularly because Small World One v One. I'm not a huge fan of. Mm -hmm. um, so being on a team to take out the AI, I I enjoyed it. I think it did work. I'm surprised at the result because, like I said, I really thought we got you know trounced. Um, yeah, I would play cooperatively again this game if you said hey i want to play small world yeah i i was very surprised with this this variant they posted it was a it was a free rule set they posted online you don't have to buy anything for it so it's like oh yeah i'll try this out because we had small world in our collection forever and it's not a game we play a lot of because we favorite co-ops of course um but i like keeping the collection because i felt like this was a really good like intro gateway area control game something fast out there i like the player power and stuff so there's a lot of things i liked about it and i have a ton of it too um so i was like i don't really want to get rid of it yet it's got it's got a good a good spot in my collection but when this was released i'm like i'll try it and i was actually really surprised with the ai it's actually very simple to run when I, when done right when done right <laughs> caveat uh but it it works because it i feel like with small world there's all these player powers and different things that can happen and it but like you said it's good that it's still in our collection because it is in you can play it in simpler manners i guess and not 
you it's easy yeah. it's easy to introduce this game to other people right yeah because yeah. if they if they come to our house like you know what i really like risk oh let me try small world you know let's see how, what you think of this game right yeah so but like for co-op i actually enjoyed it i played it solo i think it works great solo too um it plays really fast as you can tell we screwed up the rules and got through this got through most of the game actually before i realized the rules are screwed up <laughs> so it actually plays pretty fast um now the question i'm not sure about i've been thinking about this would you suggest buy this game if you don't have it for cooperative play? No. I think I would agree. No, because I don't, it's not like a shining cooperative game. It's not like, how, how do I want to say this? Where the game itself isn't, I think it's best when you're playing it competitively with yes. a lot of individual people. Yes. That I think is where the game really would shine. Yeah, we have the six player board and it's pretty pretty fun to have like mats of just people attacking things going all over the place. It's it's fun, it's a free for all. Um, but as a cooperative experience, I wouldn't buy it for that specifically. However, I'm glad it's there. I think that's gonna make this game hit the table more for me, because like I said, we play co ops and I would rather play this co op if I have a choice, right? Um but yeah, I don't think I would go out and buy it for that. Now, the caveat is, if you really like area control, and you like powers, like those are two things you really like a lot, then I would probably get into this stage of like, you know what, maybe you'll like it for the co-op level, but that's pretty specific. Like the average person, I, I wouldn't recommend this to go co-op, in my opinion. You, you seem to be agreeing with me, right? Well, I don't think that's the, the point. The point of, of the playing game. this game? Yeah. yeah. Like I said, it's... It, like yeah. when you get the giant board and there's six people trying to take over the world and you know there's so many different things going on that's where it gets really intense and exciting mm -hmm. when you got six people yelling at each other you know? <laughs> right, right. Um, where yeah like I'll, I'll give you crap but you're on my team so i don't really right. want to you know go after your throat or anything right right whereas the ai it's like i can't trash talk an ai exactly so yeah, yeah. Although I still had fun. And since it's just you and me playing, I, I would play this again for co-op if you wanted to just randomly play a game. Yeah, I do. And that, it plays nice and fast. So I'm I'm happy with this. I'm glad they came out with it. I I think this is probably going to mean I keep Small World in my collection, honestly. Because now I've got a way to play co-op. I've got a good niche when people come over and play like an air control type game. So I'm happy with it. I, I, yeah. do, I will recommend people, if you already have Small World, to try this out. So I'm very happy with it. Yeah. Now, I I do wonder that the official rules only go up to solo. So, which we play tonight is a house rule, but I think it works well for the house rule. The house rule meaning that um, playing an actual co-op. Now, could you play this at three-player co-op? Probably. Could you play a four-player co-op? Maybe not as much, because at some point you're going to run into token limitation. Like, I, right now, looking over the box... We don't have a whole lot of points left to pull out of that box. Um, so you may have to shorten the the game length, which you could do. You could you could drop the time length down a bit more. Yeah, but you, then you don't really get into the decline, into the decline and yeah. you don't you yeah. don't get into the board as much. You wouldn't be able to move you wouldn't be able to do nearly as much. I agree. So I guess what I'm getting at is while this works fine for one and two players, and probably three, I don't think it would work co-op four players. That is taking on a lot of assumption, though. So right, right. that's my guess. Yeah, we'll have to try it out and see see if that's true or not. But that that's what I'm expecting. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. And if you guys had fun, you like seeing this type of stuff, let us know. We could do another play with it uh, with some more powers. We got a lot of stuff to do. We haven't shown you how it works with the relics and. And what's it? Relics and uh, places, locations. So those are fun because there's like special artifacts and like tools and cool like magic items you can gather on the map. Uh, that came with the underground set. So let us know if you want to see another cooperative play with that. We can do that. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I had fun. Yeah. Despite screwing up the rules. <laughs> so. But like you said, you know, when when you can, you'll edit the video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's just be like, oh, everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, if you're watching this a lot later, when I got a chance to edit the video, just FYI, I screwed up the AI rules earlier. So we'll cut off that part of it. But yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next stop. Bye, everybody. Bye.